Hi everyone! In this video I'm going to show you how to set up Epson Ecotank L3270 multifunctional printer via Wi-Fi direct connection. Also I will show you how to use Epson smart panel application to print and scan your documents connected to the printer directly. Let's get into it! As you can see from these indicators, my printer is connected to shared Wi-Fi network and the upper indicator shows this, while the Wi-Fi direct connection is off. To enable Wi-Fi direct, you just need to press Wi-Fi and information buttons together. Just press once. And now the Wi-Fi indicators start taking turns and blinking. That's what you need and you need to wait until uh, the lower indicator to start glowing solid. That means Wi-Fi Direct is enabled. To connect your gadgets directly to the printer you need to know the direct Wi-Fi password. You can find it on the back side of the front lid. So open it and here on the product label is your Wi-Fi password. This is the universal password. You can use it as Wi-Fi direct password, as pin code connection password and as administrator password if you haven't changed one of these passwords. Also you can find your Wi-Fi password if you press and hold the information button until the printer uh, starts printing the information pages. So just press and hold. Don't release until you hear a sound from the inside of the printer. So now I'm hearing the sound and I can release the button and wait for three pages, but actually you need just only first one, so once this page is printed you can press the cancel button. On this page you can find a lot of information about your uh, network connections, uh, including Wi-Fi direct section where you can see your network name and your password. If you want to change these credentials you need to enter the printer's web interface and to do this uh, you need to enter IP address. So here is your direct IP address, use it if you're connected to the printer directly and here is your public IP address. Uh, for shared connections. So, over here. So, to change the password on your computer or smartphone, you need to open a web browser and check your connection. So, uh, I am connected to shared Wi Fi network, so I'm entering the public IP address in the search bar. Let's hit enter. And it takes me to this warning page because uh, the browser considers this page as risky. But this is your territory, so you can click on advanced uh, and accept the risk and continue. It takes you to the web interface, click on administrator login. Now you need to enter your universal password from that product label. and click OK. I don't want to save this password now. Uh, so switch to advanced settings in this drop-down. And it takes you to a different menu, it's bigger. So what you need is click on services in the left pane and select Wi-Fi direct. Here you can change the network name and password. Uh, you can't use spaces in the network name. So select name, uh, also change your password, but let me just leave default and click next. And OK to save your changes. The printer will restart and the changes will be applied. Next, to connect a smartphone to your printer directly, first stay on internet connected network and install Epson Smart Panel from your corresponding app store. So just install, it's available in Google Play Store, in App Store. Now connect to the printer directly, so open your Wi-Fi settings. Find your printer's direct network, if you don't see it here. Go to Wi-Fi settings, to advanced menu and find the direct network of your printer. If you still can find it, just disable Wi-Fi for two seconds and enable back again. So here is your printer, just renamed. Tap on that 
enter your password and join once connected go back to the app store open epson smart panel application agree to the terms and conditions uh, ok on this screen uh, now you need to grant permissions to the application first allow to use your location while using app next allow to find devices on local networks allow and it's searching for your printer and the connection is complete so easy now you need to select the application interface cards or tiles i prefer tiles anyway you can change it in the app settings later connection connecting to the server failed because you're disconnected from the internet so you can print uh, only files from your file system on direct connection to print something just tap on print uh, select what you want to print documents let's say and select a file for example from my phone for example from documents so let's select this file for example now you can tap on this gear icon to adjust settings make sure your printer is selected in this drop down set your paper size media type uh, experiment with layouts for multi-page documents uh, set the print quality standard or high uh, set paper source but you have just only one paper tray so you don't have to change anything here and switch between color and grayscale mode set how many copies do you wish to make let's make just one okay done to save your changes and print to start printing to scan a document first place it on the scanning surface put it facing down and make sure that the top left corner is aligned with the bottom right corner of the scanning surface you have this arrow here so put the document like this and fit snugly to the borders of the scanning surface close the lid then in epson smart panel tap on scan uh, you have some settings here as well so document size image type resolution up to 600 dpi 300 is enough for document you can test remove background feature automatic rotation and select your output format pdf jpeg or tiff pdf supports multiple page files so let's leave it like this and just press start and wait for the result once you've got this result you can add more pages just place the second page uh, on the scanner glass and tap on scan wait for the second scan now i have two pages repeat this action as many times as you need you can reorder pages just drag and drop like this uh, you can rotate each page using this button you can crop your pages delete pages from the document rotate all the pages together like this uh, and once you're done scanning just hit next rename your file if you need and uh, two options you can share the file using one of your applications or close this menu and just save to your file system select location documents downloads and so on let it be in documents hit save and you're all set now you're suggested to go back to the home screen you can uh, tap no if you also want to share file later but let me tap yes uh, what else uh, also you can uh, control uh, the copy feature of your printer uh, from your smartphone so uh, the settings are uh, very similar to uh, the scan settings but the difference is you can't save your document you just can't print it right away so just uh, tap start and your document will be copied and that's pretty much it for this video i hope it was helpful if yes consider to subscribe to our channel hit the like button to support us any questions comment below and be awesome see you in the next videos bye guys